Hello everyone, Thrash Till Death here. Um, as many of you might know, um, one of my absolute favourite bands of all time, Agaloc, are going to be releasing a new studio album um, coming out on November the 23rd called Narrow of the Spirit. Um, and I'm of course absolutely jazzed about this news. Um, ever since the announcement about two months ago, I've been following the web just every single day, looking to see if there's been any sort of um, samples from the album posted to see if the, this band can possibly live up to the sort of standards set by their last two LPs. So, um, yeah, as, as it turns out, um, today my prayers were answered when Brandon at uh, Stereogum.com conducted an interview with John Howe, the lead singer of Agaloc, um, and debuted the online the new track from the new album, The Watcher's Monolith. And obviously I just sort of dived right in, just sort of hoping to get a, a taste of what the new album is going to sound like, see if it can possibly live up to the standards set by The Mantle and by Ashes Against the Grain. And I'm pleased to report that, yeah, it's absolutely incredible. Um, Agaloch have outdone themselves once again. Obviously the rave reviews have been coming in early from a couple of blogs, people saying stuff like, Agaloch um, make perfection sound effortless and other such hyperbolic statements. Um, and obviously hy Hyperbole has always sort of surrounded this band um, and their cult following of which I consider myself a part. Um, but absolutely it lives up to all the Hyperbole that's been lavished on it so far. Um, this track, The Watcher's Monolith, is in the interview that Harum conducted with Brandon at Stereo Gum. Um, he says that it's based on a spiritual healing experience he had in Germany while they were on tour there a while back. And that sort of, it does come through in the music. It's it's a morose song. It's, well, maybe morose isn't quite the right word. Somber, maybe. Um, Low-key, as Agloch or always want to be, but it's not malign. It's not even necessarily depressing. It's very, it's almost benign, sort of a therapeutic experience listening to this music, this song. And as always, when it comes to Agaloch, it's absolutely as well composed as you could possibly ask for. Just shy of 12 minutes, but it feels like it's over just so quickly. Ac acoustic passages just intertwining and melting into these absolutely gorgeous leads. Um, there's one slightly blasty black metal se section in the middle, but um, it fits in just so well. Um, it does call back to some of the post-rock experiments they did on Ashes Against the Grain, um, but it also incorporates a lot of the more folksy sort of textures that they were using on the mantle, the more sort of gentle acoustic tones as opposed to some of the quite harsh minimalist ambient stuff they've been experimenting in the last in the last few years. So it's sort of a return to their sort of pagan-ish roots rather than sort of the more bleak um, post-apocalyptic stuff they've been doing recently. Um, absolutely gorgeously composed, of course, and it comes with this absolutely exquisite piano outro. The whole track is amazingly beautiful, and that outro just caps it off so well. I'll include a link to the song in the description, um, so obviously check that out. You'd be a fool if you don't, because seriously, songs this good just don't come along very often in modern music. And if you like what you hear, of course, buy the album when it comes out on November the 23rd, because Agaloch are a band deserving of your fullest support, um, because uh, music just like this doesn't come along very often. So, yeah, that's me for now. Um, signing off, everybody. This is Thrashtal Death. Thank you. Goodbye.